to the high school and we're going to figure out what's going on with this case because I still feel like that there's something connecting them to because Michelle's story begins when she didn't get picked up from the dance at the high school and the husband's story ends when she left to go pick her up from the dance at the high school. The high school. Oh my god, so many broken headlights. But let's do a dispatch call before we get there because I want to do okay. a fucking bank heist robbery thing again. Or stop one. Yeah, please be careful. One Rockstar game deals with doing heists, the other one is about breaking them up. Thank you. This is the real true crime three. <laughs> Surprisingly, this is Mafia 4. You, know, you, you ever played any, any true crime game? I have not. I played the first one, and it was awesome, because I think it was like the first M-rated game that I ever got, you know, bought for. I was like 14. And, uh, the second one is utter dog shit. <laughs> okay, so you and I have very different uh, first M-rated game stories, because mine was Conker's Bad Fur Day. Well, the first one I ever played was Turok Dinosaur oh. Hunter. You know, a game where you stab dudes right in front of you. Right in the face. Yeah, that was six. We'll six?! Alright, yeah. you beat me in that regard. But, like, I rented it from Blockbuster. How the hell were you able to rent it from- well, I mean... We didn't know what the M rating stood for. Oh my god. But then, well, we found out. Hyperviolent. <laughs> yeah. And we found that T-rated games were alright, so we went with those instead. Alright. And then, I don't think I got any M-rated game until True Crime. Nice. Yeah, I think I played GTA before then and all that, but you know, I played other M-rated games. But... So were your parents the ones that were like, as long as you don't imitate what's in the game, you can play the M-rated game? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> Same thing with, you know... Well, Man. that thing popped in out of nowhere. So anyway, what here we are fuck? at a bank robbery. Oh, okay. I, I thought you crashed the game. <laughs> a very M-rated bank robbery, I must say. Ooh, man, we're going to take down an M-rated bank robbery. Oh, uh, yeah. At the Blue Room Jazz Club. <laughs> That's an AO club right there, my friend. Ooh, shit. We can't go there, otherwise we just might not even put police? up the video. Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? So there's Bang. about there's about six motherfuckers in here just raiding this fucking bank and they got Tommy guns and everything. This could be a mafia job. Oh, can we please not mess with the mafia? Again. Well, here we go. You dad. Alright, so Harley you, uh, highly trained uh, people, yeah, cold blooded motherfuckers, and two of them are dead already. And now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, oh good. Ho. Yeah. Now I have a machine gun. I have a machine gun. Hello, right, let's die. bad people. Yeah, who wants to- You? Oh. oh. <laughs> Clever, eh? You're, you're a bad man. You deserve to die. And there uh, he you, goes. You, definitely you. Oh, I have- And free, uh, lost a hat. Yeah. And there we go. And you are dead as well. So I can run out of ammo, it seems. <gasps> oh, no, but, he is mortal. But that's okay. Got another one. Uh, yoink. Yep, got another got machine another gun. Ho, ho, ho. Detective. Hmm. I'll just Ding. slide over and touch the door, which opens the elevator. Yeah, 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 I got it. I would laugh if every single gun was pointed towards the elevator. <laughs> that'd, be the, that'd be the smart thing to do, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, there we go. Hmm. And they got in the bank vault and everything. Uh, uh. Oh, well. Just shot little Susie saving oh, bond. Shit. Up, shit. Up. Oh, no! Fuck. Oh, he is mortal. I didn't oh, turn around in time and man. I was in the way of shooting him. <laughs> Cole Phelps, you got in the way again. God damn it. I turned around to face him, but the camera shifted me in a way that I was shooting him. That I was like in front of him, but oh man, I gotta drive to the street crime again. Oh no! Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and fade out. I'm there. I'm back, bitches. Let's try again. 
I, I still want the scenario where like 20 machine guns are focused on the elevator. I like how they just sent one guy up here. And there he yeah, goes. Oh, and, see? And did it again. I didn't get over there, but, you know, good enough. Bang. There we go. You can't laugh to tell the tale. No, or you can't. can die like a dog, like the rest of your friends! Uh-huh. And... Okay. Hello, yeah. Desperado. Goodbye, <laughs> Desperado. So why do they send only you? Because I get the job done, motherfucker. Oh, good point. They've got a cemetery named after me. <laughs> and it's split evenly between innocent people and not innocent people. Car it's called the Cole Phelps, Phelps Completed Quests. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at cemetery. And Olive. No oh, speaking of which, are we actually going to 100% this game? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? You never know. Can you drive to this one? Nah, I don't like 100%ing open world games like this. Not, not really. Anyway, I mean, let's make let's make our way out to the high school now. The high school. The high school where everything converges. Yes, the high school. I, I still think they she was killed by the groundskeeper. Besides, we're getting three stars and everything. What makes you think we're gonna hundred we're gonna hundred percent this game? I don't know. That's boring. That's a funny it's idea. boring. This is a comedy series. Yeah, I know. You know how funny it is? It's so funny. We got a guy perving on young girls over here. Oh, lock him up too. <laughs> what? Yeah, where oh, are you shit. running from? See, see, I thought he was like a high schooler. I tried to get on the bike, but the bike doesn't work. <laughs> Chase him down! What's the matter, dude? Give You're me a little at... punk. Am I gonna find a copy of Light of Tsukimi Manor in your fucking pocket? <laughs> oh, in that case, yeah, take him down! He's probably gonna defend it on the internet when it exists. Chase him! Kill him! Take him down! Excuse me, excuse me. Hey! Oh, excuse me! Do you not see the officer running after that guy? Come on! No, I guess I look like a mobster, but you know, hey, whatever. You, you look like a mobster, you're wearing a suit, everybody wears a suit in the 40s. Go, go, go! So that's why the police officers have that uniform, to distinct themselves from the fucking mafia. Oh, oh. so you're just an average Joe. Oh. Yeah, I well. look like just some dude who's like, you know, hey, you owe me my rat! <laughs> hey, Boom! Oh, second tackle of the day, Cold Phelps, new record. Huh, well, I got my cardio for the day. Huh. So that means we don't have to chase the perpetrator later, later on, right? He just gives up. Well, who's this guy? I mean, we were just chasing him because he was perving on girls, and well, hey, would an innocent man run? That is true. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy yeah. way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, uh, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the chosen. Is that Steve Buscemi? No. Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you okie motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't. Ooh, know okie that. motherfucker. Mm, isn't that a... Say? In the nice That's pit a of prejudicial hate pocket, speech. Eli. What? Now why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, killer. Oh, what do we have here? What the hell? What the hell? Why do you have this, huh? Why you got this here? Jesus! Where'd you get this? Uh huh huh. Ain't that Were you making it fly? It's the most interesting thing in the world, isn't it? I mean, huh. I mean, huh. Well, I mean, he went quietly. I mean, besides the running and everything. Oh, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's, he's under arrest. So this is the janitor. We keep it a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Yeah, we fucking. Filthy son of a bitch. 
Yeesh. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. So we yes, have hmm. a kitty raper. We have mm -hmm. a we have a thief. A guy oh. and now we have our Let prime suspect. Up. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Goody goody. Doesn't that rope look a little huh? I mean I'd say case closed, lock him up, but cases like this probably a little more complicated. Muller is a mechanic. So HM what Eli does for a living. Do they stand for Hugo Muller, perhaps? Hmm. But really, if you're looking at the situation and you think that Hugo is the murderer, <laughs> you're fucking out of your mind. Yeah. I mean, hmm. yeah. So life is hell. They had to put the game well all the way at the end here. And because we're still in crime scene mode, I can't exactly run away that fast until I get <clears throat> just off of school property. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no running on school grounds, really. He's such a blue blood. Jeez. <laughs> We need to break you in, Cole. Make you a real tough son of a bitch. Phelps, badge 1247. How, could I How can I help, detective? detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being uh, held in the Baller homicide case. Uh, Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. Watch commander, he has like 12 Rolexes on each arm. Dude! One for every hour of the day. <laughs> Which hour do you need, gentlemen? Rooney. Underneath! Military time! Lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't we, do it. So we can go to the morgue and figure out stuff we did. kind of already you know. Because mm -hmm. apparently, we us chasing after that guy was an alternate sequence. And we let Mueller slide. Oh shit, really? You were supposed to go to the morgue first, instead of the high school, but, you know, if you were a, uh, if you were a smart cookie and thought, wait a minute, something happened at the high school, let's go see. Not only do you get Eli Rooney early, but you also figure out that he's so obviously the fucking criminal. I don't know about this. My gut says Mueller. Very interesting. So now we're gonna make our drive back to the police station and put an end to this case because when we get there, we're gonna have two interrogations. We're gonna have one with Hugo, who obviously has stuff to hide, he has a lot to answer for, and Eli to, well, okay, to ask him why he did it. We want to run that risk? And we can and we can arrest one or the other, and there is one right answer. But what's this? Oh, sweet. let's do another uh, dispatch call while we got some time. Oh, it's right here, let's too. See. Oh my God, that person died. No, they're fine. They all drive Kias, right? That's how 40s cars so work. so recklessly. So what we have here is a holdup. <laughs> that didn't go well. Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. So those two were trying to rob him, and he's like, not fucking today. <laughs> okay, that's great. All right, so we're... That is so So now great. we're gonna go after him, and... Where'd they go? Where the fuck did they where go? Where did they go? What ha Where did they go? Where the fuck did they go? Did they go through the floor? What? Oh! Oh, there they are! Okay. They did go through the floor! Holy shit! Jeez. They shot first. So he was running away. I shot him in the back five times. Coward. Did I fire four shots or only five? Uh, maybe you can ask them one question and just one question. I don't feel lucky. No. Do you punk? Punked. Ah! Oh! <laughs> my nose! <laughs> Alright, this is where I snipe with my 45. Aw, oh, damn it! You lost your hat! Got him. Why do they always aim for the hat? <laughs> it's a good shot, by the way. I love sniping with weapons you can't normally snipe with. It's like the pistol in Halo. It's the best item in the game if you know how to snipe. Like using a sniper rifle for a melee weapon. Just like irony in that, you know. 
<laughs> this is Kari 11K. Shotgun to pull off a long range hand, ha, headshot. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and corner. Fucking no scoped with a shotgun. Yeah, that was a nice quick little dispatch call. Street crime, whatever they're called. They're not all they're not really always crimes, are they? Street crimes, street crimes. Gotta go with street crimes, street crimes. So now that that's taken care of, let's head back to the police station. Time for questioning. Both of the guys are set up in the interview rooms, and this should go pretty smoothly. Mm-hmm. At least I hope. It should. I mean. Wow, we've actually gone through an, an entire work day. We solved like, a murder in a day. No, I, I know, that's that's still impressive, but most of the time when we go through these cases, you solve everything before lunchtime, it seems like. This is a, this is a big one. So, Mullers in 2, the pervert is in interrogation room 1. Where is everything? Captain, we're on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Okay, good, we found so it. So here's Eli Rooney, but I want to interview Hugo first. I still got to figure out what he was trying to burn in that incinerator. Why does he have the blood on the shoes? What really happened? Hmm. Whoa! Okay. That was weird. So, Chief's saying, whatever way the outcome goes, he's gonna get his comeuppance. It's like, who cares if he did it or not? Mm -hmm. I mean, for looking at children like that, he should be punished. Now Betty watches that. Gotta... Betty looks at those weird cartoons from Japan, too. You wouldn't have any, would you, Phelps? Phelps, why do you have that? <laughs> Automatic arrest. Who the fuck is interview room one? I'm lost on my own job! Ah! Here it is. There are two. Alright, so. Hey, there's Hugo. Go. Here's the husband. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for Oof. yourself is I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill you. <laughs> well, give me that lie test. I can prove it. That face Phelps had, it had it clearly said, "Do you think I'm an idiot?" <laughs> why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? So, all right, big question. Because I knew why is he why is he yes. burning the shoes? You're full of shit. Uh, the only thing I can think of besides we calling him a liar is uh I'd like to think somebody framed him. Head. Used his uniform, While used his tools, used his shoes, down. and that's he, he was set up. Well, believe it or not, He's telling the truth. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin him. So it's rabbit's blood. Do you know anything about ropes? So, does he have any access let's to braided one. ropes? But first let's ask him okay. what he feels about ropes. I learned some more in the army. He was in the scout, he was in the army. So, uh... What kind of like rope do you want to use, huh? With rope, with, rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. So just because he learned it doesn't mean that he killed him. I mean, yeah, it doesn't mean he used it. He has an extra skill in his they, pocket. They teach you that in the army. That's like one of the basic things to kill with your bare hands. They teach you to become a killing machine. Found your wife's car. Someone. So we found her car. Last night. Do you have anything to say about? Anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. So let's ask mm -hmm. let's ask about the uh, the work outfit that has Flies, HM. Hugo. Your overalls put you at the same right. Why were your overalls there, dude? My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Oh really? Mm. Uh, oh really? Uh, 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 wait. Backing up what you're saying, or I'm gonna walk out that door. What? Did you get that wrong? Yeah, I got that wrong. God damn it, dude! <laughs> I know nothing about any. <laughs> you clicked the wrong one. How could you? I, I was one below. You're lying. <laughs> You're gonna have to come clean on this. You Ooh, okay. You got no proof. Well, this is what I was supposed to use. Let me, let me show you. A Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? <laughs> oh, I feel bad I now. Airflow. So but I'm pretty sure HM doesn't stand for right. Hugo Moeller. All 
All right, so it's it's ah. pretty fucking obvious that he didn't do it. Like, right. He definitely didn't do it. I mean, the rabbit's blood, you could probably verify that at the workshop, I'm sure. You wouldn't believe it because, you know, he's he's a man who's very, very skittish, you know. It's like, yeah, I wear size 9s. Mm -hmm. No, you wear size 8s. Oh, I don't want you to think my penis is too small. <laughs> very insecure kind of man. I understand that. Yes. But he, yes. he, he still needs a sweat in here. Like, just... I already did a counseling. Just okay. Here, here's a, here's a, here's a, my card for Dr. Harlan Funt. Actually, never mind. You know what? Just drink every night. It's good. Anyway, as for you. Like you've had it rough. Oh yeah. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy. The kitty fucker. I have worse. My family a roadkill during the dust bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. It's Pedro. For something new. South Pedo, what? <laughs> yeah. Pedos Does touch him down south. Have a name? Hennessy Marine. Nah. You can't miss That's a, a funny you little joke. They give you any work. You can't well, miss? Oh my sure. god, this dialect. Green cover on. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing. <laughs> Alleged you child sex offender. Any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. He's probably going to say something like pigs or cattle or something like that because he's sick. Big. Big. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what, what you mean, is it? <clears throat> Any old rope will do me fine. You're lying, Eli. You're a creature of habit. You just get out of jail <laughs> and you're back to your old ways. You use a specific type of rope. That may be the uh -huh. case. But you got nothing that says I used a rope to hurt that woman. Well, how about the bloody rope that we have here? But I guess that doesn't count because we can't tie it to him. But what we can do is like think that he's telling the truth. Up for braid, tie hitching braid stays tied. Maybe that's why good cop and bad cop was used. Because I'm not really, you know, true doesn't really tell me anything. But if I sort of play to it, you know, kind of fall into that, you know, he gives me more, I guess. You're a liar. You'll know, be good cop. You needed the money, so you killed her. I've been around some, son. You and you press Y to accuse them, because that's what you do. That it was in your fucking pocket. It was, you gave it you to us. It you handed it to me, but that d still doesn't count. We have to doubt him. You have no job, and no one is trying to smell. Been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got mm, I don't buy it at all. Put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Yeah, you're oh. under arrest. You did it. But I'm just really? showing what you can do is you can leave interrogation, go to Hugo Mahler and, and arrest him. But you know you'd be wrong. You you can yeah. and it does have happened. But you know he just needs to be in jail anyway. You just need to be incarcerated for something. Just beat that rat. I ain't a killer. No, you're gonna hang, dude. Just go away. I don't know. Something feels wrong, doesn't it though? Doesn't it though? Yeah. Rusty, back off, dude. He's gonna get plenty of those. And not on those cheeks, tell you what. But I'm Tish, these are the jokes. Congratulations, Arakan. Drink, boys? Yeah, but something feels wrong, damn it. I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. Oh no, I think we wrongly accused a guy of murder. We need swift It wasn't Hugo. It it obviously wasn't Hugo. Right. I'm not fucking with you. It really wasn't him. We we got it right. We did the we did the right thing. We did the best thing we could have done. Well, we didn't do as good a job as we could have done because we missed a clue and we got two <laughs> questions wrong, but hey, 
vehicle yeah. damage under 5,000, and city damage just didn't even go in the fourth digit, so I think we're doing pretty good. But uh, Eli Rooney is uh, definitely going to die. <laughs> he, he is going to die. I'm going to tell you that much. Hmm. Hey, okay. ready for another military flashback? I'm down for this him. Time we're actually in the war now. We are in hashtag war. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? A little bit of small talk in the middle of gunfire. So but anyway, uh, wondering why we have lovely day, huh? There's no great Aside from all the warfare, you know, at least the sun's out. Nice blue sky. See that boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him. So, uh, this is an important scene, kind of. Not not important in terms of the story, but you know, uh, yeah, he's like, hey, he slapped that Jap. It's like, uh, no, he's. I'm, I'm, you know, I did not do that because they're very honorable. I, I respect the Japanese. So, uh, and why did they attack, why did they attack Pearl Harbor? Because they hate the U.S. of A. That's a nationalistic a response. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off no. their oil. We cut off their oil. What would do if another country denied us the gas mm. to run our cars? Uh, well, he's got a point. Uh, see you next time, and let's play L.A. Noir. I'll leave you on that.